back to Linda's pantry and today is my first installment of the ugly chicken cook-off and yes I'm telling you she's ugly but delicious okay so I did this chicken last October and this is bone-in skin on chicken thighs yum what do you do with that well I'm gonna make a pizza I am going to make a um, pizza the pizza crust is gonna be made out of the chicken an egg from the girlies, some mozzarella cheese, some spices, and then I'm gonna top it with a bechamel sauce from Thrive so it's easy from the pantry. I don't have to do anything. A couple pieces of bacon I'm gonna chop up, some beautiful spinach, and a gorgeous fresh tomato. So how easy is that? And I'm gonna do it in the Ninja Foodie air fryer that I just got, and I know you guys have been asking for demos for that, but I've been using it, I'm just, trying to get my learning curve on. So I'm gonna bring you in close, but before I forget, don't forget down below, I've got a list of everybody that's in this collaboration. We've got Lisa from Sutton's Days heading it off. She's put this all together for us, which is fantastic. Thank you, Lisa. And we've got um, Tulilu Creates is going to, she's already put her video up and Lisa's already started. Jenny Goff at Jenny Goff's channel. And we have a uh, hodgepodge homestead. So John over at Hodgepodge Homestead did a great video with some chicken and noodles. I mean, all of these recipes are going to be so easy and so delicious using your ugly chicken, <laughs> which I normally don't can, but once in a while, bone in skin on, I'll do it. All right, come on in and let, I'll show you how I did this. Okay, so I've got my stuff all out here. I've got my tomato all chopped up, my bacon's chopped up. We're going to go ahead with this and... Get our chicken in here. And I forgot my my opener. My can opener is right there. Okay, so this is a tattler lid, right? This I do add broth, but you can see it's gelatin. It's it's really like gelatin in there. Okay, so you're just gonna take this. Oops. And it definitely had a good seal. I had to pry it off. So these are reusable. Um, I've used this one now. This is second round. It's got two marks on there. So next time I can with this ring, the rubber gasket, I'll put another mark on there. That'll tell me it's on a third round. Get that over in the sink. And <clears throat> let's see. We're, I want to drain this chicken off. So and it's nice because it's so... Look at this. Can you see that? That's like... Uh, gelatin. It's not even liquid. <laughs> That's okay. So we're going to get this out of the jar and, and I'm going to get gloves on because I do not want this under my nails. But look at all that, all that gelatinous goodness. I'm going to put right back in this jar and I'm going to add water and I will use that in my next recipe for, um, Chicken and rice or chicken divan, which I may make. If you guys want to see chicken divan, let me know. So I'm getting all the skin off of here. Let me grab some gloves and I will get this prepped. Sorry, I wasn't quite prepared as I should be, but that, that always happens when you turn that camera on, right? Okay, so we're going to get this chicken off the bone into the bowl and I'm going to need a... I want to get a spatula so I can get it back, all the juices back in the jar. I really do want. Okay, so we're going to get all the skin off here. And it just, I don't know if you can see, it just comes right off. It's, so that, I'm going to discard that. In fact, I'll just put that in the jar as well, just so I have some, some place to put it. I'll separate it. Because I'm probably going to strain that broth anyway. But chicken skin is good. Good fat source for sure. Okay, we'll get this bone out. There's the bone. And if you see any gristle or anything, get that out of there too. I mean, it's soft. You won't notice it. It's kind of like canned salmon. It just will disappear. But So that was three thighs in that. I want to make sure I see some more skin. that in there. All right. Now, 
now that my hands are a mess, I might as well break that up while I'm in here and feel around for anything else that I don't want in my pizza crust. Oh my gosh. I've been thinking about this pizza crust for a while. Okay, so I think I pretty well got all the liquids out of the container. So we're going to get the gloves off. I don't need these anymore. And I didn't even use that one, so that's good. Um, we're going to leave that there. Take this one off. And get the rest of that liquid gold. Because this is strictly from the chicken. I don't know if you can see. Or if I'm going to make a total mess. So that's what comes off your ugly chicken. When you have the bone in and the skin on, you get all that really good stuff. All right, so I will add water to this and make magic. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna rinse out my bowl really quick because I just I want to dry it out. And this is the bowl I want to use. So just to make up my crust, and I'll probably need that other glove here in a minute because I'm gonna have to form the crust. So. Back in the bowl goes the chicken. <laughs> and it's, yeah, it's pretty ugly. Let's see a piece of gristle. There's a, there's a knob of gristle, I think. We don't need that. It'll make my, it'll make my crust lumpy. So the chicken's all shreddable. Just, I mean, it's so, so tender. Shreddable, tender, wonderful. Now, I'm going to add an egg, fresh egg from the girlies, one egg, and I want the finer, um, finer cut mozzarella for this, only because I, I think it'll mix better. I'm going to add some salt, pepper, garlic, about a half a teaspoon or so, yeah, maybe a teaspoon, <laughs> SPG. And then this is a truffle black or truffle parmesan black garlic. It is so good. It's not strong, like it sounds strong and bold, but I'm gonna add a little bit of that to the chicken as well as the bechamel. And let's get that egg yolk in there. And keep breaking that chicken up while you're at it. I'm gonna brown my crust first and then I'll put my toppings on and let it go for a few more minutes and that's exactly how quick and easy this is going to go. Now in the Ninja Foodie, the uh, the air fryer pan, uh, I think I'm going to put some parchment down in there. I need to be able to get it out of there, right? Okay, so I've got my, okay, yeah, I'm definitely going to use parchment. And anyway, cheese. Now you could you could bind this even further if you wanted to. You could bind it with some flour, some almond flour, some carb quick, whatever you decided to do. Um, I'm gonna do it a different way. Okay. So now we're gonna add our cheese, and I'm doing everything easy from the pantry as quick and easy as I possibly can. This is a two cup thing, so we're gonna add at least a cup and see how it feels. And you could add any cheese you want. I really want the bacon, the chicken, the bacon, the spinach, and the tomatoes to stand out on their own, so I don't want the cheese to take over necessarily. And you'll be surprised, this might make two pizzas. Yeah, I want a little bit more. Get that binding a little bit more. It's the glue that'll hold it together. And you definitely want low moisture cheese. I think cheddar is too oily. We've already got a substantial amount of fat with the chicken thighs. So I don't think we need any more fat. And so it's making my mouth water though. Okay, I think I've got a perfect consistency. Can you see that? So it's, it's pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna put this glove back on. I'm 
so excited about this. I should preheat the um, air fryer. Right now, let's turn it on, and we're gonna go air fry, and we're going to go to 425 for, let's do um, seven minutes. Okay, start. We'll start at seven. That seems like a lot. Okay, so I'm gonna put, yeah, this is probably gonna make two pizzas. So that's good, now we know. I've done this with ground chicken before. It comes out fantastic. So I thought, well, why not my home canned chicken? I do everything else with it, right? Make sure you can see what I'm doing. <clears throat> Okay, I better make that bechamel sauce, huh? Okay, now we got that. Should we do, yeah, I'll just save the other one so off camera I'll make the other one, but that's gonna be an individual pizza for moi. Okay, take that glove off. Now, I'm gonna set this aside. I'll cut the paper so it, it works <clears throat> going in. Now we're going to do the bechamel and it's super easy. Oh my gosh. Are you guys ready for this? I'm going to scoop out a quarter of a cup of that. And I'll set that over there. I'm going to do a little more of this. About a tea, about half a teaspoon of the truffle and a good sprink of the SPG. We're gonna get some water and I'll okay guys trying to get the water now I'm gonna get over here and I don't know what kind of view this is for you guys I'm having to use my phone now my camera is on the fritz oh and I, I honestly can't see spending what it would take to replace it right now. I just don't have it. Disposable income. Okay, I've got to add a little bit more water to that. It's too thick. It's really pasty. I'm going to add a little bit more so I'll be able to spread it. And I'll be back when we're putting this in. Okay, it's safe to add food. So... I don't need to spray that because, well, I got, I'm doing this on parchment. So I'm going to add that down there, and it looks like I need to cut some of this off. I want to be able to pick it up, though, when I'm done. You see what I'm saying? So get that parchment on both sides. Cut down. Oh, this came together so fast. Okay. Can you see it? It's in there. It's in there. So we're gonna brown that off for seven minutes, and I'll be back when okay, I talk. So it. I'm about halfway through, and look at, look at, look at. Oh, it looks so good. It's starting to smell good. So I'm gonna take this out. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm take. I took that out. I'm gonna turn it onto this parchment and brown the other side because this side needs to be just as brown, right? before I finish this off. So back in to the um, beautiful Ninja and let that go and uh, go for another four minutes and then we're gonna put our toppings on. Yay, and then I, oh, guess what? I have lunch. Pizza for lunch is one of my favorites. Okay, I'm starting to smell it. So I think we're good to put our sauce on and I'm going to spoon that on, and then we'll just spread it out. So, yeah, I just looked at it. Okay, so let's get you in there where you can really see. Okay. See how, how nice that looks? Oh, yummy. Okay, hang out there for a sec. So I'm going to go ahead. I don't, I'm going to leave it right in there. I've got some of the bechamel, which is full of flavor because of those spices. I'm just going to spread that out. And there's more than enough sauce for two or three pizzas. Probably more like four. I might have to do this again. Okay, 
Now I've got that. I want to put my thick cut mozzarella on here. And I'm just telling you, this smells divine. So you don't need a whole lot because it's just a single serving pizza. And yeah. So if, if you're low carb in it, tell me if you've made a, a chicken crusted pizza before. Because I have, I made a, um, a buffalo chicken crusted pizza. Um, this, I'm, I'm really wanting some veg on there. And I'm going to wilt this spinach down. I don't want the stem sticking out though. And I don't want to burn myself. Because this, this thing gets hot. Okay, a little bit of tomato and bacon. I'm going to split all of my ingredients up so I can do, I think, like I said, I think I can do two more pizzas actually. So, and a little tomato. I absolutely love fresh tomatoes on a pizza. They start to break down a little bit and they just make it delicious. So, there you go. Okay, how's that look? It looks delicious. Okay, let's finish it up. Just until the cheese melts and then we're done. And ready to serve it up. Oh my goodness, I'm excited. Okay guys, it's out of the air fryer. I'm gonna save that parchment for the next pizza. And I should let this rest a little bit. Ooh, my tomato got blown around there or something, or my spinach did. I better take some pictures. So while this is cooling down, I'm going to go ahead and take a picture. And, because uh, I want it to set up so I can actually show you. I'm going to put a couple more fresh tomatoes. Mm, yum. The cheese is all melted. <laughs> can you see that? Okay, I, I can't wait any longer. So let's cut into this. And, oh, it smells so good. It's super hot, though. And then a little individual pizza for lunch. I don't know that I'm going to be able to pick this up, but look at that. Get that bacon back on the pizza. Okay, let's take a little, little piece here of some spinach and some bacon and check that out. Okay. <laughs> I'm super excited, but it's hot. Okay, so there you go. Yum. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, now that I'm not expecting. It's juicy. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be juicy. And the bechamel is a perfect, it adds the perfect note of spice and salty. It's absolutely wonderful. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to play around with the other two and see if I can't even get the bottom crispier. I might have could have, I mean, it's, I don't know if you can see, it's, it's, it's brown. It's, it's crisp. It's brown, but it's not as crispy as I would like it. Mm-hmm. But. Juicy on the inside, like. You get chicken all the way through that. It is so good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I might have to do this all the time. This is delicious. I'm not lying. Mm -hmm. I need some parm and some red pepper flakes. But honestly, I don't need a thing. It's delicious. I hope you try it. I hope that this doesn't intimidate you. You know, when you have all those home can things on your shelf, you've got to get creative and do the things you would do with regular food that you bought at the store before you cooked it. How easy was that? Low carb, delicious. I mean, over the top delicious. Better than the one I made with ground chicken. This is more moist. The crust is moist, but has a crispy crust on the outside. So it's not dry. Um, it's absolutely wonderful. I can't say enough about it. So, guys, don't forget to check all the other videos out, and um, <clears throat> I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe. Oh, boy. And we'll be using some more of that ugly chicken. Mm -hmm. All right. Yum.
There's my pizza pizza. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Over the top.